It's a problem a lot of women face in the digital age and, and some men too receiving unwanted explicit photos on your phone, inbox and email. Yeah, that's happened to my husband before on Pinterest, but this fall sending those unsolicited pictures might be a crime here in Texas. Lauren Zakalik explains. Fort Worth mom Lynn Winter wears a lot of hats. She's an attorney, a wife, a dance instructor, and she runs popular social media accounts and a blog on motherhood with thousands of followers. Um, I love it, but it also has some bad parts to it too. Those bad parts come in the form of unsolicited lewd photos, usually from men. You do get some, some photos, nude photos and pictures of body parts that you don't ever want to see outside of your own marriage relationship. She says she gets five to six a week. It's disgusting. Via Instagram alone. It's a norm and it is sad that we have to just accept that. But that might be changing. The chair lays out House Bill 2789. Thanks to a bill headed to the governor's desk that would criminalize that very act. HB 2789 makes the unsolicited electronic transmission of a sexually explicit photo a Class C misdemeanor, filling the void where Texas law is currently silent. Representative Morgan Meyer says the new law would address a, quote, modern and sadly growing problem across digital communication platforms. SMU grad Whitney Hurd, who's the CEO of dating app Bumble, spoke in favor of the bill in Austin and said a recent study of Bumble users showed one in three had received an unsolicited lewd photo. If indecent exposure is a crime on the streets, then why is it not on your phone or your computer? Catherine Jacob, who runs Domestic Violence Resource Center Safe Haven, says this behavior is a sexual violation and she supports the bill. The fact that it's done without consent really takes away any power from the victim. The victim didn't ask for the photo. As for Winter. I think it's a great first step. Um, I think we have to start somewhere. She just hopes it'll be enforced because something needs to change. In Fort Worth, I'm Lauren Zakalik.